friends, welcome back. I hope you were able to digest the information of the seven densities to the best of your ability. And now I want to share on a more relevant, immediate experience that we are all sharing today, which is that on our civilization, on our planet today, in our civilization, there is the transition from third to fourth density going on as we speak. Now, this is part of why I include this whole idea of the seven densities to give you bigger context. Now, 5,000 years ago, it might not have been as necessary. But today, since we are in transition as we speak, and you've all heard the stories about the new age and all that stuff. Well, there is some truth to that for sure. The truth is that we are transitioning from a third density vibration of love light to where our environment has already shifted to the beginning stages of a fourth density vibration or what would be categorized as a fourth density vibration of love light energy. So our consciousnesses are now being forced to adapt because our bodies are forced to adapt and our environment is or has in a sense already adapted or changed. And since this planetary vibration that we share the plane of the illusion of the creator that we call earth um, since we all agree to have been going through this change for the past so many years we are now forced to catch up with the changes in vibration the changes in density now there's a few key changes that happen as we go from third density into fourth density that i want to share with you so that you can start to recognize this in your own life and again empower evolution by being a co-creator, by being a deliberate, conscious, aligned being. So one of the key changes that we are noticing today and that you'll continue to notice ever more rapidly so, is that of total transparency. Now you see this in our governmental structures, you see this in our monetary structures, you see this in um, inter country relationships, international relationships, you see this in even in the way that we have warfare and all these structures that you see on the news, so to speak, you start to see that transparency is being forced to the surface of this planet. But on an individual level, you will find that transparency is being forced upon you within your intimate relationships, within your, par within your families and with your partners and with your friends and with your businesses. Everything is being forced to become transparent. This is one of the keys the key uh, principles of fourth density vibration is that nothing can hide from itself. And so in third density, there's a lot of veils. There's a lot of separation that is allowed to be experienced. Of course, it is all an illusion ultimately, but the separation is allowed as an experience. So you can be in your own world and someone else might not know what's going on with you. They might not be able to pick up on your vibrations and your thoughts. In fourth density, and already today, you may experience that this has already changed in the last 10, 20 years, has already become more and more transparent, especially in the last three to five years. And this will continue again rapidly to expose itself even more. You will find that it's harder and harder and harder to hide yourself and how you feel and what you think and what your vibrational output is. It becomes harder and harder to hide that from the beings around you. Now, this is tricky for some people because they have a lot of fears and they feel caught up in their sense of self-protection. Um, so be as compassionate and as kind as you can with these beings and be as kind and as compassionate as you can be with yourself, understanding that there is no way out of this game, that you'll have to become honest with yourself, forgive yourself for whoever you are, whatever you're thinking, and come into alignment with yourself guilt-free. Now, when you feel guilt-free, you are able to open up to other selves as more of yourself, and then transparency starts to become fun and enjoyable and highly beneficial, accelerative and empowering to your evolution. And with that, to the evolution of the one infinite creator in form as creation. So that's definitely one of the most primary aspects that you'll notice as we continue this transition is that everything becomes more transparent and we'll just have to deal with that to the best of our ability. That's why teachings like these are helpful. Because when we are in alignment with ourselves, when we are in transparency with ourselves, when we stop segregating our levels of consciousness and start to embrace our subconscious and unconscious, start to open up and start to make as much as we can conscious of ourselves and work at that. 
and by following our joy, but also by paying attention and being aware of what's going on within us and finding the greatest alignment and finding the greatest expansion and finding the greatest compassion and the greatest understanding for self and other selves. And then this becomes the foundation of a joyful fourth density beginning stages life that you can have that you're starting to experience right now. One of the other key principles of fourth density, which is actually a result of this transparency, is that consciousnesses start to form together. They start to group together. They start to gravitate together. Many parallel realities will be generated out of what seems to be a seemingly unified civilization that is one planet Earth and one humanity. Now this seemingly one planet Earth and one humanity, even though that's not already kind of true anymore, or it never really has been because there is always infinite parallel realities. But nevertheless, within the illusion, it seems like we've been together on this one planet as one civilization. And now it's in a sense splitting up, not just in two versions, but in endless versions. And your reality, your personal individual vibrational reality will actually be the center point of another collective experience that is about to emerge and gravitate towards that reality. So you will find that more and more beings of like mind, being of like vibration will come into your life. Beings of not like mind, of not like vibration will start to gradually drop away of your radar, of your consciousness. You will no longer be able to perceive them. You will no longer be as close to them if you are even at all still able to perceive them. There will be less and less contact organically. And at some point you will both wonder whatever happened to the other person. And what you're left with is your true vibrational family. Not that these people are not also yourself and that they're not also loved and family and that you don't love them and respect them and care for them. But it simply means that for the exploration that your soul wants to go through in fourth density experience, it is more conducive to be with a vibrational family that is in alignment with your theme, with your purpose. Previously, everything was tossed together into this big pile, hence all the conflict that you can see in the last few millennia, all the wars and all that conflict of interest. But now we're actually by learning from all that, by distilling from all that who we truly are and what state of being we prefer for ourselves, from that, we will start to become the center of a vortex of our own reality. And when that happens and when that's clear and in alignment with who we truly are and what we truly want to express and explore most, this prioritization of our own vibration will now attract to us beings of like vibration, of like prioritization, of like mind, of like intention. And so more and more this world will for each of us become like heaven on earth and less and less conflict will occur still challenges will arise, but they will no longer be conflicting. They will no longer be based in anger and, and hardship. They will be based in fun, joy, expansion, and love and understanding and compassion. So you will find this more and more. So pay attention to the fact that you're drawing different types of people into your life these days and that you're losing track of perhaps your high school friends or perhaps your family, your physical family as you grew up with, etc you are starting to navigate together. And ultimately what this leads into is group consciousness. Now we will in our lifetimes only start to see the beginning stages of what this actually ends up being later on in fourth density. Nevertheless, we will get a real taste of what it's like to be part of a telepathic group communication. This may sound airy fairy, but it's actually what's happening these days. You can already notice it on a smaller scale between individuals it becomes harder and harder to not know what someone is going through. And it becomes harder and harder for someone else that's close to you to not know what's going on with you. You can no longer hide from each other. Now, extrapolate this into a group experience of like mind, of like vibration, of like intention, of like theme, of similar understanding and respect for each other. And you will see how vibrationally that will group itself together to where your minds in a sense become linked. This does not mean that you lose your individual expression and your individual body and your individual mind. It simply means that your individual basis and database is now more fully available to every other portion or being of that collective group consciousness. So you will still maintain you, you'll still be you, but it will be hooked up to, in a sense, the internet of minds that are part of that same group consciousness. And now this is why fourth density exploration is different than third density exploration, because now you start to explore what it's like to be part of a group consciousness. 
which is different than the pack consciousness of second density, late second density. This is having realized your individuation, having woken up to the fact that you are consciousness, that you are a creator, that you are able to love and give and share, that you are connected to this universe. And now having become transparent and clear, you maintain your individuation, you maintain the realized self that you are, and yet it is extended to more portions of yourself to start to form the beginning stages of a group consciousness that works in unison together. This is very different from what we're used to in third density. Now, another key aspect to understand is simply that fourth density vibration is of a higher frequency, a higher wavelength than third density vibration. And so what we'll notice is all kinds of environmental changes, all kinds of structural changes to our uh, societal structures, you will start to find that a lot of people will have difficulty coping with the vibrations in different ways. Bodies might respond differently, might feel weird from one day to the next. Um, imbalances might occur, then you might be rebalanced and feel better than you ever felt before. And the very next day you might feel worse than you've ever felt before. So a lot of stuff is happening collectively. And again, you see this in your own lives, but you see this also out there, seemingly out there in the world. Everything is more chaotic than it usually is. Everything is amped up. Everything is the chaos that we've already experienced, say 2000 years ago is now simply made more global. It's made more international. It's made more accessible to everyone. And now everyone can panic about what happened here or there in the world. So everything is being brought to the service, you see, and as a collective entity, as a collective consciousness, we are purging ourselves of old third density materials and ideas and belief systems. And we're being forced to adjust to a fourth density the environment, belief system, understanding of each other and paradigm. This comes with some chaos, but that's quite all right. When we understand that this is what's happening, we can be more compassionate with ourselves and others, and we can give everything and everyone the benefit of the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt. So um, we will always be giving and patient in a sense, even when we get really precise with something. So by understanding this bigger perspective, you can now be more at ease with all these changes that are happening globally and within yourself and within your own personal relationships. Sometimes it gets a little challenging. Sometimes it gets a little hard. Sometimes it gets a little conflicting, but that's all because this is being purged. The result, my friends, is going to be amazing. It's going to be heaven on earth. This is it in a nutshell. There's other effects, but um, this is all that I wanted to share these three points as a basic foundation for understanding this transition from third density into fourth density. There is no homework for this lesson other than to listen to this lesson one more time before you start your next lesson and to let it marinate and see how it applies to your own life. Thank you.